Hello and welcome to Peak Hour. The only show made by us for you commuters. It's time for the weekend wrap up. Public safety officers are being praised for making hundreds of arrests in public transport in order to protect the community. It seems they've been targeting a lot of drunk commuters. Victoria Police Assistant Commissioner Chris O'Neill stated, if you're drunk on public transport, you will be arrested. While this does make a lot of sense, surely if you're too drunk to drive, public transport is the smarter option. Now, is this sending a mixed message? In related news, the Autobots had a massive weekend, slewing destruction all over the Balti Bridge. In all seriousness though, we do wish the driver a safe recovery and he is in a stable condition in hospital. French electronic duo Daft Punk had their international album release of Random Access Memories the other night in Whoop Whoop, sorry, Weewa, New South Wales. They brought in more than 4,000 electro-funk fans to more than triple the town's population. Despite the event being heralded as the international release, there are a couple of things that kind of let the event down. A, the, uh, the album was streamed on iTunes about a week before, so it wasn't really a launch, it was more of a launch party. And Daft Punk weren't actually there. Although, to be fair, they do always wear masks, so maybe they were hidden in the crowd, who knows. Canberra-based politician Shane Rattenberry has had a close encounter of the furry kind while out on his morning jog. He was attacked by a kangaroo and had his legs cut off. Now the irony of this is that Rattenberry is actually one of the MPs responsible for authorizing a recent cull of kangaroos in Canberra. Bush karma. Bush karma! The ever-evolving Facebook has taken an arguable step backwards this weekend with the adding of a new mood function. Now, this seems a little bit reminiscent of MySpace 2007. Critics argue that further templating and an already limiting medium of communication may inhibit expression. Really, it just makes me feel a little bit sad. The Melbourne International Motor Show has been cancelled after major car manufacturers have backed out, citing financial reasons. But if you ask me, maybe they just didn't have the drive to commit. A map marked with an X and believed to be drawn in 1944 will lead an American-based scientist to a site where five African gold coins were discovered in the Northern Territory. Now these coins are believed to be over a thousand years old which would rewrite the Australian history books. The expedition, and yes it is an expedition, to a land where politicians are attacked by wild animals is hoping to prove how long migration has been going on in Australia. We just hope they send the right man. So that wraps up this week's episode. Just a quick reminder that this Thursday is actually the start of the St Kilda Film Festival. We're going to be heading down there, so hopefully we'll see you around and we'll have some scoops for you next week. In the meantime, reach out to us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next episode. Have a safe trip home.